Political analyst divulges how North is betraying Tinubu as prominent Islamic scholar reveals who to vote for. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. The Jade Anjou has revealed what the North is doing to the candidacy of the All Progressive Congress flag bearer Bola Tinubu. The convener of Concern Nigerians maintained that the North is systematically betraying the former governor of Lagos State. Adi Anjo said that almost all the religious leaders in the region have declared the support for the People Democratic Party of Liberia, Atiku Abubaka, due to B's emergence. On Friday, February 24th, a civil society organization concerned Nigerian, CN, dropped a stick regarding the fate of the presidential candidate ahead of a Saturday, February 25th poll. The convener of CN, Comrade Dejade, and to disclose that the North is systematically working against Asiwaji Bola and Metunambu, the ruling All Progressives Congress APC's presidential candidate. The North is betraying Tunambu, Ade and Joe claims, and blames P2B. In a statement shared on his Twitter handle on Friday, Ade and Joe said that most religious leaders in the North have endorsed Atiku Abubakar, the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as he blamed the Labour Party's standard bearer, P2B, for the development. The tweet cited by Legit Injury thus the North betraying Tunambu systematically, almost all major religious leaders in the North has endorsed Atiku. Someone says today's sermon in the mosque will be direct and unequivocal that it is not only Christian leaders who knows how to endorse their own. See what will be cost. Rea Reactions as Stelz predicts winner of 2023 presidency between Tinubu and P2B. Meanwhile, a predictive poll by Stelz, which predicted the winner of the 2023 presidential election, has stirred reaction from the supporters of the major presidential candidates. The poll by the Pan-African Data Company predicted that P2B, the Labour Party presidential candidate, will win the 2023 presidential election if there's a high turnout of voters. It is also predicted that Asiwa Jibola and Met Tenembo, the All Progressives Congress, APC presidential candidates, will win if there is a low turnout of voters. 2023 election, go out and vote tomorrow, Biden charges Nigerians, Bax Buhari and Free, and fair poll. In the news, on Thursday, February twenty third, the president of the the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, sends an important message to electorate in Nigeria. Biden called on all eligible Nigerians to go out and vote for their preferred candidates on Saturday, February twenty fifth. Meanwhile, Nigeria's presidential and national assembly elections will be held tomorrow, Saturday, February twenty five. In other news, panic as suspended as suspected hoodlums in Vedanek and her staff camp in Northern State. Breaking news. Suspected hoodlums have attacked ad hoc staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission in a camp at Sudan Wada Primary School in the Gombe Metropolis. According to the punch, no fewer than three phones, backpacks and power banks were cut away by attackers. News gathered that three persons have also been rushed to the hospital having so since much had caught while others are nursing varying injuries in the attack which occurred on Friday night, February 24th. An eyewitness who spoke anonymously said the hoodlums made away with the phones of some of his colleagues who were trained to conduct the presidential and national assembly elections scheduled to hold on Saturday, February 25th. It disclosed that many of them were injured following the attack while trying to flee for safety. The police and the school guard were nowhere to be found. They went with phones belonging to my colleagues. I sustained injuries while trying to escape. The eyewitness was quoted as saying. The spokesperson of the police command in Gombe State, Mahi Dabubaka, has reportedly confirmed the incident. He added that he just received a distress call about the same place. 2023 Pause More last-minute drama as APC denies suspending Ojekalu and details revealed. The Abia State All Progressive Congress has released a contrary statement debunking the suspension of Senator Oje Kalu. A statement released by the party's spokesperson reveals that media reports making the rounds were about Senator Kalu's suspension. He accused the People Democratic Party PD for sponsoring fake news and the renowned senator. 
A counter statement has been released by the Abia State All Progressive Congress to debunk that is suspended Senator Jekalo of a state not senator district. Earlier on Friday, February 24th, reports were making the rounds that his party has suspended the chief whip of a red chamber of the National Assembly over anti party activities. Reacting to the reports, the Abia State APC spokesperson, Oke Eziala, accused the People Democratic Party, PDP, of spreading fake news and the Punch reported. In a test statement by Eziala, he revealed that no such thing transpired within the party. He said, and I quote, Senator Ojekado remains a candidate of a great party as both the party and his constituents are satisfied with his performance. Kado remains a loyal member of the old Progressive Congress, says Eziala. While addressing the anti-party allegation against the renounced senator, Eziala, according to the Sun, said, Senator Kado has shown every ounce of loyalty and commitment to the party from inception to date. He stated that Sano, he stated rather that Skalu is innocent of the allegations against him and remains an ambassador of the party with no records of anti-party engagement or affiliation. The third statement urged residents of Abba, Abia and supporters of the former governor to remain calm and disregard any similar occurrence of the rumor. Well-known APC ex-presidential aspirant joins TikTok, the closest daily mission. In another development, TikTok, a short-form video hosting service owned by China, now has a new subscriber in the person of Senator Ojo Zokalo. Senator Zokalo, a former Abia State governor, announced his subscription to the social media platform on Friday, October 28th. Carlo told his friends and well wishers that he will be posting videos on political and non-political issues daily. Now, let us start from the beginning. So, the Jade Andrew is saying that they are not they are now supporting Atiku because of Obi. That Obi is the one that went around and he was campaigning in Church Hill. And I'm here asking myself, ha. Now, what? And then, they have also come out to say that um, the not is even betraying to Nobu. And it's because of Obi. And I'm saying, how? How did it happen? Hmm? And as if that is not enough, the okay, the people who are still doing online polls are still doing online polls. Why we are supposed to be waiting for the result? At the end of the day, Nigerians, eh, this election should be do what should be looked into very critically. All right, um, at the end of the day, eh, the beginning of the news, I don't think. The reason they are giving about supporting Atiku is genuine. They are supporting Atiku because Obi, Obi's people are supporting him. So it doesn't make sense. That means he's not even competent. Hmm? All right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. As I come your way next time, enjoy.